let's learn how to graph using just the slope and the y-intercept. Now, uh, a lot of times you'll want to get the equation into a slope-intercept form. So y equals 2x plus 3. Uh, and then we will use the slope and the y-intercept. Uh, if you remember, y equals mx plus b. The m right here is our slope. So that's how we do that. Um, the b right here, this number by itself, it's not right next to the x, that is going to be our y-intercept. So 3, positive 3, and you always look at the sign in front, is going to be our y-intercept, and 2 is going to be our slope. Now, um, the slope is usually split into two parts. We want to take any number and make it into a fraction. If you notice, 2 is not a fraction. So how can I make 2 into a fraction? It's a whole number. It's an integer. Put a 1 under it. So now the top number, 2, we're going to call it our rise. The rise goes up or down. If it's positive, we're going to go up. If it's negative, we're going to go down. This is a positive 2, so we're going to go up two spots, okay? The bottom number is called our run, okay? And that means you go left or right. If we go to the right, like this one, it's a positive number. It's a positive number on the bottom. We go right this number of spaces. If it's a negative number, we go left. So let me just put a um, double negative over here. See, this is a negative number on top, so we would go down two spots. And this is a negative number on the bottom, so we would go to the left one spot. So the number tells you how many spaces to move. The sign tells you whether you move up or down, left or right. Okay. So you might want to have this right here in your notes. This would be good to have. Um, this isn't... Uh, well, it's important, but you'll you'll be getting straight into it where this will be second nature here in just a second. What we're going to do now is we're going to flip over and graph this. I hope you've got uh, one of my blank graphs. If not, uh, it would definitely be wise to pause the video, go get some graph paper, even if you have to print some off an internet page. Come back and be ready with your Cartesian plane. Okay, so what is my slope? The slope is always the number sitting in front of the x. So my slope is 1 fourth. Please, please, please do not call it 1 fourth x. The, the x is not part of the slope. We just use that to find it. Okay. We, we just kind of use that as a marker of, hey, the number in front of the x, that's our slope. Now, what is our y-intercept that we represent with the letter b? It's the number that's being added or subtracted to the end of it. Um, plus 2 would mean it's positive 2. So positive 2. What do we do now? We graph it. There's positive 2 on the y-axis. If it was a minus 2, I would have put it down here at negative 2 on the y-axis. But it was plus 2. So I start here. And from this point, I use this slope. The slope is positive, so I'm going to go up 1, and I'm going to go to the right 4. So up 1 from my y-intercept. There we go. We're sitting at level 3, but I don't. Point, I don't put the point yet. I have to finish my movement of the slope. I go to the right four. One, two, three, four. And I need to get rid of this pin. So there we go. Up one over four. You can connect the two points with uh, a line. And we have successfully graphed this linear equation of y equals one fourth x plus two. Um, I don't want to make it too complicated yet, so let's just go through it and see if you can understand this first. Uh, y equals negative 2 thirds x minus 4. So let's go get our slope. That's the fraction sitting in front of x and our y-intercept. Remember, always look at the sign in front of it. That's a minus sign, so it's negative 4. So graph your y-intercept first. We come down to negative 4. And now we use our slope. This states that I should go down 2 and to the right 3. So I'm going to move down 2 and to the right 3. 
there's our line. Now, at this point in time, you'll probably remember that I said, hey, three points, that's best practice. Don't, don't just settle for two if you can help it. Well, when I go down two and over three, if I go down two again and over three more, it'd be on the same spot as this line, but I, I'm out of graph. And that's a very, very common problem. So here's our two points that we've got so far. Let's stop and think about this. How can I get back? If I went up two and back three, if I went up two, that would be my rise. So I'm going to put a positive two. I went up two, and I'm going to go back three. Back three. Well, that's a, a negative if I'm going to the left, up two and to the left three. Do you see that? Well, let's just move it up here. If we had slid the negative sign down to the bottom, took this top negative sign and made this one negative, it would have told us to move to the left three spots instead of going to the right three. And we would have been left with a positive two on top, so we would have been going up two instead of with this negative telling us to go down two. So it's, it's true that you can take any uh, slope that you have and then reverse it instead of going the way it tells you originally and just do it backwards. So we went down two and over three, but now we can go up two, back to the left three, and keep doing it. Up two and back to the left three, and we're back on the line again. Up two, back three. And so that lets you be able to get more points to make sure, hey, am I, am I doing this correctly? Here we go, number three. My y-intercept is one, positive one, because that plus sign. And my slope is negative five. Well, let's, let's deal with our y-intercept first. Where do I put that at? Positive one. Okay, so right there. How do I find this? Someone said, Mr. Tate, do, do I just put like a five on the bottom or, or negative five and make it the same? No, 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 no. How do you make any integer into a fraction? You just put a one, a positive one, underneath it. So my slope is telling me to go down five and to the right one. So we move from our y-intercept point down five. One, two, three four, five, and to the right, one. So that's where my point needs to be. Let me uh, erase that and fix it, and we'll be able to connect the two points. There we go. So there's one, negative four. There's zero, one. If you actually wanted or were required to build an XY table, you could steal these points, zero and one, one and negative four. What if I said, get me three points for this one? If I go down five, I'm off this graph again. So let's see if I go backwards, uh, up five and to the left one. Then let's go up five more and to the left. Up oh, there it is. See right there? Negative one, six. So negative one, six. Once you get the hang of, of uh, reading the slope and how to move, you'll feel more comfortable working backwards. To be honest, though, if all you can do is get me two points, you're doing pretty good. And as, as long as it's accurate, it's pretty good. Let's do one more. Uh, and we'll actually do this one in, in two different ways. I'm going to change this equation in just a bit to make it a fifth way, but uh, we'll just play around with it. Here, I, I want you to understand this should be uh, understood that it's really like y equals negative one half x plus six. So my slope is negative one half, and my y-intercept is positive six. Where do I start with? Always start with your y-intercept because you you don't know where to start moving unless you've got a starting point that's on the line. And the only thing that we know is the line's going to go through at positive six on the y-axis. Now, uh, keep in mind, the top number here, the negative 1, means that I'm going to go down 1 
and to the right two with that bottom number. So down one to the right two. So that's where I'm going to put my mark. Actually, I'm going to move that out of the way. Down one to the right two. Down one to the right two. Down one to the right two. So that one's fully graphed and we're done. And you've actually got four points to put on an XY table if you had to. Or if they said uh, list uh, four possible solutions to this linear equation. Well, here's your four points that solve this equation that make it true. Now, this is the way I'd like to change it. We're going to take these points off of here, get the line off of here. And we're going to change the equation to y equals negative 1 half. OK. Uh, my slope is still going to be negative 1 over 2. So I will go down 1 and to the right 2. What's my y-intercept? Well, if you add 0 to it, it doesn't change it, so it's okay to add 0, which means that my y-intercept is at 0 on the y-axis right here. It's right at the origin. And now from this y-intercept point, we do what our slope tells us to. Down 1, to the right, 2. Down 1, to the right, 2 down one to the right two and now let's practice moving backwards and if it's on your paper you should practice doing this if I went down one I can go up one and if I went to the right two I can go to the left two all we're doing is doing the exact opposite up one to the left two up one to the left two up one to the left two and you see that we're able to continue this pattern and then we can always honor um, the way that the slope was originally uh, given to us. We can always say, okay, it, it goes uh, down one to the right two. And you see we, we keep on this line. That's the basics of uh, graphing an equation. Remember, we need to know what the slope is. And we need to know what the y-intercept is. If they ask you what the y-intercept is, I know I've been calling it 0. Or in this case, I, I called it 1. Uh, here I called it uh, negative 4. And here I called it positive 2. Let me write that b back there. But please understand that the point, like here's positive 2 on the y-axis, but the actual point on this Cartesian plane consists of two points, and it's the x and y value. In this case, it's 0 to the y-intercept. The x is always 0. And as we did on other exercises, we to find it from the equation, we took the x and we made it 0. Well, if this was a 0 times 1 fourth, it would make it 0, and 0 plus 2 is 2. So y equals 2. So be careful with your terminology there. It's okay to uh, use it as a shortcut reference with, with uh, other math people, but when you go and write an official answer, please understand it's, it's not just a number. Uh, the y-intercept is not just two. It's, it's a point on the plane, and so it's going to consist of an x-y uh, ordered pair to graph it.